The CDC has issued an alert warning that the number of infections from a certain bacteria are on the rise, and it is particularly happening in young children. And this is something that we've heard from local doctors in our weekly What's Going Around reports. And now the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services is asking health care providers to be on the lookout as well. We talked to an expert about what parents need to know. There's a higher proportion of patients coming to the emergency room and leaving with this diagnosis of mycoplasma pneumonia. This bacteria is not new, says Dr. Leah Monday, an infectious disease expert at Children's Hospital of Michigan. But the CDC is tracking an increase since late spring. Those numbers are increasing the most in the younger children between the ages of two and four. Um, where classically it only accounted for pneumonia in about 1% of those kids, and now we're seeing that going up to about 7%. It's spread from person to person when we cough or sneeze, sending droplets into the air. The vast majority of people that get mycoplasma pneumonia actually have very mild symptoms, and it usually only causes upper airway disease, um, bronchitis, wheezing, coughing, fever. In a small percentage of kids, it can actually progress to pneumonia, where there's difficulty breathing and productive cough. Younger children between the ages of two and four may have different symptoms. They might only have something like wheezing or diarrhea without a cough. Um, and so it's important in the really young ones to remember that even um, diarrhea or acting abnormal could potentially be an infection in the lungs. The main concern is this pneumonia needs to be treated with a different antibiotic than children would normally get. They want to get that alert out because they want parents and doctors to know if the child is being given amoxicillin for pneumonia and they're not getting better, um, you might want to go back and do a test to see if it's actually mycoplasma because we can cover it very easily with azithromycin. And there's no vaccine for this illness, so the best way to stop the spread is to keep kids home when they're sick and reinforce the importance of covering coughs and sneezes and washing their hands. And, of course, we'll continue to follow this as health officials keep an eye on this increase.